Welcome to our first processing tutorial. And one thing to note is that processing can do some really awesome and really creative coding things. And one of the problems with, with uh, extending processing is that you want to add things to the library. And it's not always apparent where you would add to the library. So just so you note know, is that if you go up to processing, you go over the preferences, we see that the uh, processing library is actually in my documents folder under processing. And I could just go and browse here and I could see these are where my library items are located at. These are the uh, other contributed libraries. So I'm gonna add a sound library to my current set of libraries. And so here I'm actually inside my, my uh, documents folder and inside my documents folder is my processing folder and these are my library items and I want to add the the uh, beads folder and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this over and now my beads folder are uh, listed inside here now to see the beads folder inside processing I'm going to have to close out of processing and I'm just going ahead and relaunch processing. And if I go over to, to file and then show the examples here. And if I scroll down, I should see the libraries uh, under contributed libraries. But however, I don't see my uh, beads folder. And this is because of the uh, folder naming. So under here it says library notes tutorial doc, but if I click on these other ones, um, they show up as examples, uh, reference library, and then uh, source. So I'm going to go ahead in my beads folder, and I'm going to rename this. So instead of um, instead of a tutorial. I'm going to call I'm just going to rename this folder as examples. And then instead of uh, instead of doc, I'm going to rename this as reference. And that should be it. So I'm going to go ahead and quit processing. I'm going to go ahead and relaunch processing. And I'm going to go over back to examples. And let's scroll down. And under contributing contributed libraries, I have my beads folder. And check that out. It's uh, the examples are now in here. So really cool. And this is how you would load in a library. And just to check that this works, we go up to sketch, import library, and we see it says beads and it inserts the beads command library in there. And now we know that works. Thanks for watching.